Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, in this video, I am going to show you the changes and improvements in the release preview channel of Windows 11. Version 24H2, Build 26100.2161, KB5044384. So, without further ado, let's begin. You can now stop the suggestions to turn off notifications from certain apps, select the three dots in the notification, and turn it off. You can also go to the settings app, then system, select notifications, and turn it off from notification suggestions in the senders list, an entry will only appear in the list after you receive a notification. The Wi-Fi password dialog now has the Windows 11 visual design. First go to settings, then network and internet, click on Wi-Fi and select the show button. Microsoft has added a new shortcut, narrator key plus control plus X to copy what the narrator last spoke to the clipboard. It follows the pattern of using narrator key plus X, which repeats the last spoken phrase out loud, and is a good way to memorize similar shortcuts. You can use these shortcuts to review and copy what the narrator spoke. It is useful in cases where you want to quickly copy some content, descriptions, or codes for use. The narrator will now auto-read the contents of a mail in the new Outlook app similar to behavior in Outlook Classic. The All Apps name has been changed to All in the Start menu. The screen goes black on some PCs for a few seconds when you switch between certain windows, by pressing the Alt Plus tab. There are some fixes in this update like Fix some scanning apps that don't detect certain scanners, even though they are connected. Fix the issue where you could not sign into your account from the web because the screen stopped responding. Fix the issue where you could not view some parts of the UI, when you run certain apps. A Windows login error occurs during the shutdown. Fix the scan now command, which showed errors every time the command was executed. Your device might have issues using service for user to self to authenticate, this occurs if credential guard is off, and the device joins an active directory domain, that does not allow the RC4 cipher. After a clean install or an in-place upgrade to Windows 11, version 24H2, you might face issues using direct access, the connection might not complete and stay in a connecting state. You can configure the Copilot key on the keyboard, on new devices, the key opens the Copilot app, if you sign into your account using a Microsoft Entra ID, the key opens the M365 app, you can make the key open a different app or open search. To do this, go to the Settings app, then Personalization. Select text input, to make the key open a different app, the app must be an assigned MSIX package, this ensures that the app meets security and privacy standards to keep you safe, if your PC's keyboard does not have a co-pilot key, changing this setting will do nothing. This update addresses some of the causes for the wrong free space estimates, and improves its accuracy. This update adds a detached virtual hard disk button to settings, first go to settings, then system, click on storage, then advanced storage settings, and click on disks and volumes, this might not be available to all users because it will roll out gradually. If you use the NetSH to show networks command, it can now read SSIDs that are encoded using UTF-8, this means that Wi-Fi SSIDs that have Unicode characters will display properly in NetSH output. This update adds the Windows Sandbox client preview that includes, runtime clipboard redirection, audio and video input control, and the sharing of folders with the host at runtime. This update adds to the list of drivers that are at risk for bring your own vulnerable driver attacks. So, that was it, hope it was useful, consider like for the video, subscribe to the channel and if you have any question, just comment down below, thanks for watching and have a great day ahead.